Hi, we are here at the newly completed Kent Hans Chapel here on the Texas Tech campus, and I am here with Kim Reese, who's going to tell us more about the building. Great. I'll be the facilitator for the Kent Hans Chapel. I'll be helping people that want to have their events, their weddings, and any type of recital that any event the person can imagine. Let me take you inside. Uh, this is our foyer area, uh, brand new. You can see a gentleman still working here, finishing touches. Um, we've had a lot of great compliments on the tile. We've had a lot of great compliments on the ceiling and the chandeliers. And at night, we have a beautiful skylight that's uh, lit from above, so it's really pretty in the, in the evening. And when you enter in the chapel, um, we love the simplicity of it. I'm most excited just about the way it feels. It's a quiet place. It's comforting. Um, and um, it just feels good, and it's great to have this here on Tech campus. And we plan on using this, of course, for weddings, uh, possibly funerals, um, and we also will use it for student groups. One of the best features about the chapel, of course, is the stained glass and the chandeliers. Those were part of our art, um, and everybody comments on the beautiful ceiling, the blue color of the ceiling. That's the first thing I noticed. I love the blue. We also love the gold wall in the background and um, it's backlit so it's lit by some natural lighting but there is artificial lighting shining on it right now but it just provides a really nice uh, backdrop. There's a screen that drops down and we have a long range projector. Our projector is right above our head here and it shoots all the way to the other end. We have a very nice audio visual package. We've got Bose sound system um, and we can have simple uh, sound systems, just projector, microphone. We can also plug in um, the choir, we can plug in handheld mics, and we also have the capability for the hard of hearing to wear listening devices. Also what we're really excited about is if you're just quiet in here, it's very quiet. You don't hear that we're in one of the busiest intersections of Lubbock right outside the door. And then to the right here we have our groom's room. People that want to use it um, pay a rental fee. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some great tech rates for our student groups to make it enticing for them to be able to afford it and to use it on an ongoing basis. The chapel will rent for $1,750 for our peak Saturdays and they're allowed the chapel for four to six hours and they're allowed a rehearsal the day before. Those rentals do come with an attendant. I can see 240 people okay. in here, and we're thinking we can do some interesting things like this to get a few more in, okay. so if we need to. Uh, this is our bridal dressing room, and it's not all the way finished yet. We're expecting a couple of kind of beauty shop type chairs so the girls can have their hair done, some new blinds, and but um, it's a great place for the girls to hang out, to dress. There's a private restroom for the bride that also works as our ADA restroom, and uh, it'll just be a great place for the girls to spend two or three hours before the wedding and during photo so that they can relax and and just um, just have a great time. How long did it take a year to build? It was, it was a little over 12 months okay. since it's built and you know the girls that booked it for the May 26th wedding that we just did and the upcoming, upcoming wedding that we did this this next weekend um, they booked a concrete slab and they trusted that Texas Tech was going to you know, get the phoenix to rise. Yeah. And so we're real excited about uh, our first brides because they did take that leap of faith yeah. with us. I have a bride type question. Um, in terms of decorating, what do y'all allow in decorating? Flowers, because some chapels don't want things yeah. near the altar or anything. How I don't do want any glitter. I don't want any confetti. I don't right. want any tape. I don't want any nails. Other yeah. than that, they can pretty much do what they want. We want them to feel like it's their chapel for the time that they rented it, you know, and I don't want to f just be full of rules, the things yeah. that you can't do. It's a really natural place to have a Texas Tech wedding and then just walk right over to the Market Center. 